What's going on internet? Eric Banholtz here, founder of Beard Brand, and today I want to talk about skincare. Okay, so here's the deal. Um, skincare with guys, for a lot of guys at least, seems to be um, maybe something that real men don't do. Something a little infeminate or uh, not manly or whatever. But here's the deal. Um, a lot of guys out there, they make their living by their looks. As much as we want to agree to that or not agree to it, it's the basic. If you're in sales, if you're a politician, if you're a lawyer, if you're a doctor, like your appearance means a lot about what you say to the world. And subsequently, you're able to build trust with your clients or with your community based on your appearance. Not many people will trust a lawyer who's looking raggedy with their clothes hanging about, hair growing all over, not well kept. Because the reality is like, if you can't take care of your own appearance, if you can't take care of your skin, of your beard, of your hair, of your body, of your health, then how are you going to be able to protect someone in court? How are you going to be able to perform on the operating table? How are you going to be able to land that big contract that really helps your company grow to the next level? Now, there's occupations out there where appearance is not really important. You're out construction, working with your hands, you know, woodworker, um, those type of roles, you're not gonna really need to look as put together. And that's okay. You know, so here's the thing, like if you're one of those guys who's in a position where your appearance is not that valuable to you in life, that's cool. But if you can't understand why someone's appearance might be valuable to them, then take a breath before you get on the keyboard and start spouting off all things about how uh, I'm a terrible person for encouraging guys to take care of their skin. Now, I think there's a lot of mysticism in men's skincare because frankly, there hasn't been a lot of companies out there educating. There hasn't been a lot of communities out there educating guys on the best practices for skincare. And I kind of want to break down um, maybe this like cloud of mysticism. I want to, of course, educate you guys and give you all the ammo and information you need, but at the same time, um, maybe open your world to areas that you can dive down even deeper because there's only so much I can talk about in a 10 minute video. So good skincare can really be broken up into maybe like four main categories. Cleaning your skin. And also to back it up, skincare, when people say skincare, they're talking about taking care of your face, really. Like this whole area is skincare. Body care is like your arms and body and stuff. So skincare is generally your face. So you gotta clean your face. You have to moisturize your face. You have to exfoliate your face. And then you have to protect your face. And we're talking a sunscreen. From there, you can have additional type of treatments. So you could have like eye tr treatments that help with any kind of bags that you may have. Or you could do, um, if you get a blemish or a pimple or a zip, you can do a uh, spot treatment on those uh, little pimples and help treat those. But once you know the general makeup, then you can start to develop and find products that fit within your routine. Personally, I'm more of a laid back grooming kind of guy. Currently, my routine is washing with uh, a utility bar. It's a prototype from Beard Brand, our uh, bar soap. It's amazing. And moisturizing with a uh, beard oil uh, or a utility balm, depending on what the weather's doing. And then when it comes to exfoliating, <laughs> I'm digging into my wife's cabinet right now and I'm trying uh, Paula's Choice. 
Now exfoliators, there's different kinds of exfoliation. There's physical and there's chemical. And there's two types of chemical. Um, my dys dyslexia is going to get me here, but I believe it's BHA and SHA. They're two different types of chemicals that will exfoliate your skin. And with the physical exfoliation, that's going to be like the little beads, like the little plastic beads you have in a cream and you rub. Uh, it could also be like a washcloth or um, other type of physical device. And you'll want to be gentle with your exfoliating. Right now, uh, with the Paul's Choice, I'm doing the chemical exfoliation only one time a week. One time a week. Uh, I'll do it like on a Wednesday evening after I wash my face and then uh, I'll sleep on it. Next day, again in the shower, I'll wash my face and go on my, my day. Exfoliation is something that if you do, it's not, more is better. So start off with once a week and then maybe go up to two times a week and see how your skin reacts to that. The thing with guys, historically, that's been great for us is another type of exfoliation called microderm abrasion. Now that's a technical term for what I would describe as shaving. So guys essentially would be able to shave their face and in that process of shaving, they're clearing off a lot of that dead skin and dirt on their grime and uh, it's a natural exfoliating part of the routine. Unfortunately, us beards men, we don't have that. So you really have to take into consideration how to get beneath your beard, bring in some of that exfoliation and uh, rub out all that dead skin and all of that, uh, the, the oils and the sebum and the dirt that have accumulated uh, over the week or over the past couple of days. And then with me and the sunscreen, personally, I am uh, not a big fan of sunscreen. I really don't like uh, the feeling it has on my skin. So what I do rather than wearing sunscreen is to the best of my abilities, I'll avoid the sun, I'll stay indoors, and I'll exercise early in the morning when the sun is at its least intense, and then um, you know exercise in the afternoon when, it, again, it's, it's not too intense. So I'll try to keep my sun exposure pretty low, um, and then that way I don't have to use any sunscreen. But if I do uh, go out in the sun for a long period of time, or when it's hot out, I'll, uh, or when the sun's right up top, I will use uh, sunscreen. Now, one of my quarterly goals is to find and improve my skincare routine. So I'm going to be uh, playing around with a lot of different products out there and seeing which exfoliants work the best for me. Even start looking into uh, sunscreens that I can use on my face and that will work beneath the beard and can really help protect my skin. Because the one thing I've noticed as I've gotten older and uh, as I regularly go to the dermatologist, like. I've got a, a new mole that came in here, so not really fun getting that. And this is like a new mole. My, my face is a little bumpier than it used to be. So uh, I also have like kind of like these, uh, um, I guess like sunspots up on the, the corner of my head. You can't really see it with this light in the camera, but I'm definitely seeing the signs of aging and, and I want to slow down that process. and. Um, you're never going to be able to stop that process, unfortunately, but with a good skincare routine, you're going to be able to extend uh, your youth uh, a little bit longer than if you just totally neglect your skin. So my goal is in um, 10 years or 15 years that uh, maybe I'll look uh, five or 10 years younger than my peers. So let me know in the comments what kind of sunscreens you would recommend, what kind of exfoliants you would recommend. Uh, or even moisturizers and uh, cleansers. I'd be interested to see what you guys are using out there, what you like about it, what you don't like about it. And uh, maybe I can start testing them around and sharing what I've learned uh, as I play with these products. So I appreciate the views. I appreciate you guys uh, being willing to try new things and being willing to invest in yourself and, and really being okay with the fact that um, you know, skincare is historically not a very masculine thing, uh, but it's an important thing. Uh, it's an important thing for a lot of guys where your appearance will help you earn more money and help you provide for your family. So as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Cheers. And keep on growing. Beard Brain is a premium men's grooming company with products not only for your beard, but also your hair.
and body. Do yourself a favor and head over to beardbrand.com and take care of yourself. Or you can stick around and watch a few more of our awesome videos.